Three mercenaries have been captured in occupied East Ukraine, and the Russia-backed prosecutors have sentenced them to death. This is the first time that foreign fighters have been sentenced since the start of the Ukraine war. Two of these foreign soldiers are British nationals, and the third one is a Moroccan citizen. They have been charged for multiple offences, one of them being violent seizure of power. A video published by a Russian-owned news network shows that the mercenaries in a courtroom in a cage and the videos appear to show the three captured soldiers pleading guilty. Now, the trial will be held in the separatist-occupied Donetsk, which falls in the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine. The soldiers have been booked under various sections, including mercenarism and a seizure of power through violence. Граждан Великобритании Шона Пинера, Эйдена, Астина Эйдена и гражданина Королевства Марокко Сабуна Брагима, обвиняемых в наемничестве и в совершении действий, направленных на захват власти и в свержении конституционного строя Донецкого Народного However, the Britain's families have insisted that they are long-serving members of the Ukraine military and not mercenaries. The men's lawyers have also said that they wish to appeal against the sentence. Britain has meanwhile slammed the court's decision as a sham judgment. Taking to Twitter, UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss said, and I quote, I utterly condemn the sentencing of Aidan Aslan and Sean Pinner held by the Russian proxies in eastern Ukraine. They are prisoners of war. This is a sham judgment with absolutely no legitimacy. Now, the word mercenary holds a negative connotation in today's language. They are looked at as soldiers of fortune who are motivated by nothing except money. In international law, too, mercenaries are treated with partiality. According to international law, mercenaries are not allowed to fight in an armed conflict. The Geneva Convention states, if captured, they are not to be granted the status of combatants or prisoners of war unless they are injured. For this reason, they are often measured with the strictest punishments across the globe. Since the Russian side has claimed that the captured soldiers are mercenaries, they will be treated as criminals and not as prisoners of war. While mercenaries have been banned, reports show thousands of mercenaries fighting for both sides in the Russia-Ukraine war. There were around a thousand Wagner Group mercenaries in Ukraine in April, according to a report by the Washington Post. The Wagner Group is believed to be working for the Russian government, whereas Russia had claimed that uh, to have attacked a Ukrainian training facility housing over 180 foreign mercenaries. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.